We welcome you to the Ghana Art Family. It's time for evolution. And so, before we start, feel free to like the video and hit subscribe button. And at the same time, click the, the bell button to get notified for when I upload new videos. So, let's get right into the video. And so, right now, I'm going to show you guys how to screen tone on Mongo Studio or, our, or our Clip Studio Paint. I'm going to just be showing you that. So, I have five different rectangles here, which will be the the five different types of rectangles that I personally use uh, yeah I mean the five different types of screen tones that I personally use whenever I'm shading so right here we, what you want to do is open up this arrow which is over here at the side side of uh, the right side of Mongo studio and uh, what I'm gonna do is go to materials and then I'm gonna open up materials and I'm gonna go to uh, basic and then you can you have a selection of screen tones to to choose from there are like different variations of screen tones and so i'm going to just be showing you uh the the the, the, the main reoccurring type of uh, screen tones that i use so what you want to do is just what i'm going to do is just select that triangle and i'm going to uh so like this first screen tone so this is this is uh, at uh, 20 20 percent uh sometimes you can just change it to uh 10 percent now now this percent is usually for very light colors i usually use these uh these light colors for uh for trees or anything that's like a, a very light color and for mid mid colors i use around 30 percent all right so I can just change here. This this is where you can change the density. So you don't have to come scrolling looking for certain types. You can change it right here on the the effects panel of the uh, the screen tone. So I'm going to go to density and I'm going to change that to 30. All right. And you can change you can change the density. You can see how it gets darker as I turn the density to 100 and it gets lighter or you barely can can see it as i turn it to uh to one okay so i'm going to put that to uh, to 30 or 35 ish or so that's usually the screen tone that i use for medium for medium shade colors so for the third type of screen tone i'm just going to drag that here and again it doesn't matter because you can change it right here but i like to use like the circle monochrome but you can change it you can change it right here so i'm going to go into that so you can go into dot settings right here so right now it's set the circle and you have different variations of uh different screen tone types that you can choose from usually i stick with circle or square or sometimes i use noise so here's the noise screen so these two are circles and this is uh this is noise right here right okay so i'm just going to go back to uh circle so again you can change you can change the, the the texture or like the shapes of your screen tone by going to dot setting okay all right so i'm going to go back to that and so the third the third type of screen tone that i usually like to use is medium dark is, is pretty much darker than than 30 percent and for the fourth one i use pure black and you can change that on density so increase the density and you you'll have a, a pure black or sometimes you can just you can just ink ink on the paper instead of just using the black screen tone is again we're going to go back to circle and i'm going to select that and i'm going to go back to uh to this let me uh okay let me just move that up so yeah, this is this is what it looks like at the moment. And so this is the first screen tone that I did. But now I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the the frequency of and what frequency is is how much of the screen tones that you want to see. You know, for example, so I have a lot of circles. Pretty much this makes up a lot of of a lot of mini dots, okay? It makes up a lot of mini dots and you can in increase the size of those dots by going to number of screen frequency and that increases the the frequency or it, it just increases the number of dots that you that you usually see or that's presented however it keeps the same the same light density 
okay so it won't change the color so to say it will just keep it the same but it just changes it just decreases the amount that you see all right so i'm going to show you guys so this is what i have right here okay so i'm going to lower the uh lower the screen frequency and then you're going to see a bunch of uh a bunch of dots here you know this is usually what i like to to use for uh comedy or if anything funny is happening in a scene or anything awkward is happening in a scene or or, or if there's any uh any chibi characters you know if i'm going to if i'm drawing you know semi-realism and then after that i trans transition to a a chibi scene that's that's meant to be check, taken as a joke or that's not funny or or scene that's like super awkward uh usually i'll have the character in i wouldn't even call the character in the character would just look, look be looking awkward and then i'd have this so this is usually for like comedic comedic relief kind of screen tone to increase it like that and, and make the circles or the dots visible so yeah And so to make this easier for you guys to understand, these four different colors are similar to like the gradient right here. So this is the, the square gradient. It's, I'm pretty much like picking four different spots of colors for this. So this would be, uh, I guess, medium black right here. And this would be all the way black. This would be lighter. I mean, this yeah, this would be lighter and this would be uh, slightly lighter. You know, I'm just picking four different spots from that and I'm applying that to, to screen tones, you know? And so what's going on people? So this is an example of one of the, the pages of that screen tone. And so you can see how these bears have a 70% screen tone. You can see the, the background has a comedic relief kind of screen tone, if you want to call it that. And it's preparing for something funny or something funny is happening on that scene. And so, what you want to do if you ever want to apply a screen tone just use the magic wand tool select any page and make sure your 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 layer you have a layer selected where you want to apply the screen tone so right now i have 30 percent selected and if i were to apply it it will apply 30 percent to that rock here you know now let's undo that now if i had selected 60 percent and i use the fill tool it would apply 60% uh, to that rock here. And so I've applied the 60% to that rock here. However, now I just wanna undo that cause I actually want the rock to remain white. And, and let's say if I wanted to change my mind, so I changed my mind, I don't want the bears to be this dark. I want it to be a little bit lighter so I'm changing it, I'm decreasing it to, to, to 50, and you can see I'm, I'm decreasing the density to 50, and you can see how it just got lighter there. So if I wanted to, I could just increase that, and I don't want it too, too, too black, that's, that's too much. But you can change around, play around with it, etc. So I'm just gonna keep it at around 50 or so for the, for the, for the fur of that bear. And so some common, common mistakes that I've encountered when I first started out with this program is sometimes when you like click and drag a screen tone to a certain area, uh, you don't see it. Sometimes that could just be due to the fact that your screen tones aren't above the layer. So right here, the line work is below right here. So you can see how I click that eye on and off and the, the, screen, work, the screen tones are above. Okay, and the, the line work is below. So anything that you're the object you're the object that you're applying it to should be above the screen tone, right? Okay, so, yeah, I mean the, the screen tone should be above that object, right? And sometimes it doesn't have to be that way. Sometimes you can just uh, go towards your uh, to your towards your your uh, your line work and just hit multiply. That can work as well, and. Uh, it, that can work just hit multiply and it doesn't matter rather the screen tone is below or above it'll still read however if this wasn't on multiply and we'll just switch it to normal you can see how uh the screen tones that are that are below it it doesn't show so now i'm dragging this 
this normal thing into below the uh, below the screen tone. Again, it's just different different styles, different ways of doing it. And in addition, and so let's say you wanted to apply an overshadow. Uh, now the overshadow is there just to increase the intensity of the scene. So right now there's no overshadow. There's just basic uh, screen tones. And the like the overshadow is like again it's like a it's like 30%. But now I'm just applying it over over this character just to increase the intensity. So like I'm doing this overshadow on this. Now you can see how the hair how how that how it just colors that hair here. And I don't really I don't really want that. So I, how how would you be be able to fix that? Is that you would increase the number of frequency here. So I'm just going to increase the number, and number of frequency, and now you can see that that here part portion is starting to show with that overshadow. Just and then just a little tip. All right, and so I'm going to show you guys an example of applying the screen tones. So right now I'm going to use a magic wand tool and select this kid's shoulder, and. As you can see, it's like a, a very is that the density is at 10%. So I'm just going to raise that to around 30%, and then I'm going to use a so a magic wand tool, and then I'm going to select the face of that kid. And you can see how like the screen tones have gotten into spots that I don't want screen tones on, and so you can just go in and then like uh, correct it if you wish. And so I'm that's what I'm going to do right now it's a little bit quick because I'm making a YouTube video and so you, you, you can you can get the point that I pretty much want to remove or go into detail you can remove some of these spots here if you wish to but I'm going to move on for the sake of the video. And so for coloring these trees, I usually use around 10%. Now, now one thing that you want to keep in mind is that I have a lot of, uh, there's a lot of empty space. So I'm going to use a selection. I'm going to magic wand tool and you're going to see that uh, it's going to select spots that I don't really want it, want it to have selected. And so as you can see, it has selected a couple of spots that I didn't really want to select. So, and I'm going to show you guys how, what it did. So I'm going to just click and drag that here. And you can see that the screen tones have been applied. I'm going to like increase that. So you can see how it hasn't been, hold up. You can see how it has, it has been, a, I just wanted to, to use this, those screen tones on the trees. But you can see how the screen tone is a, is being applied to this well's lower mouth here, uh, is being applied to this exclamation mark, uh, some sides of the ocean, the water, the waterfalls, and I just wanted to make it go on the tree. And so, what what you would want to do if you want to do this, you can just like individually uh, try to close off like spots. So I'm gonna undo that. Right, so right here, like, uh, yeah, so right here, like, some of the reasons why that happened is because, for example, this exclamation mark, there are little holes, little holes that you want to look out for, right? So, right here, this is the hole of that exclamation mark, that's why that happened to seep through in a selection. So, what you want to do is close that hole, you know. And when you close that hole, it's not going to select inside of this exclamation mark. And that goes for every single thing here. If you want to take your time to look for holes in this in this types of picture, in this uh, type of picture. But uh, in this case, I don't feel like using the, using the selection tool. I'd rather like uh, go in directly and then start coloring. Uh, different spots of where I wanted to uh, to go to. So this is the this is the finalized version of this page. You know this. So I I uh, I applied the screen tones here. I colored them in. Here I I was using the noise effect for this this cloud ish. It's not really a cloud, but it's like a it's a, it's a substance. 
that that makes this whale float right and you can see like all these effects here and there and I have, I have a little bit of a gradient shading going on right here you can just use your your brush tool or you can use the eraser tool soft custom yeah use a soft eraser tool use any kind of a, a screen tone and then you can just edge out the things so that it has a very uh, transitional effect to them as for the waterfalls and the uh and the and the water in the background the, the waterfalls were made uh, i digitally painted those these those weren't the uh, for screen tones they, they were they were painted on including the the water here um i did use a gradient tool so i use gradient so first i selected this this portion that i wanted to to do the gradient on and then i applied it and then i started to draw on it you know well that's that's for that's for another tutorial but anyway, this is this is for screen tones. I don't want to get off topic. This is for screen tones. I hope this video has helped you to understand and helped you learn new things about screen toning. If this video has helped you, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment, you know, all that jazz, and tell me what you think about the video. And peace out. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave so in the comments down below. And peace out.